Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Sudra Usman and this video is on high yield histopathology images for your INI set NEET PG and FMG exam. This is a histopathology image question bank in which I have tried to compile all the important histopathology images and this would be a very good tool for your last minute revision. Uh, so without any further delay, uh, let's move to the topic and also I've tried to keep it very short uh, so that I don't consume much of your time before the exam. So let's dive deep into the topic. So guys, first we'll start with neuro. In neuro, first image we have is of meningioma. In meningioma, we can see the cells are arranged in the form of whorls. You can see the whorls and also uh, we have samoma bodies. These are uh, bodies of dystrophic calcification and these are basophilic in nature. You can see they are blue-blue kind of. Uh, so uh, samoma bodies and whorls we'll remember in meningioma. The next up we have is uh, the MRI image of meningioma. You can see a well-circumscribed mass that is attached to the meninges. So it is meningioma. Uh, then next is pilocytic astrocytoma. In this, we can appreciate eosinophilic rosenthal fibers, very dark pink colored fibers. Uh, so these are rosenthal fibers. Uh, then next is glioblastoma multiforme. You can see the cells are going towards the periphery. So it is a pseudo palisading. It is not a true palisading. And there also you can appreciate pink pink area of necrosis. So uh, that is glioblastoma multiforme. Then this is the MRI image for a glioblastoma multiforme, but uh, you can also expect because it is a kind of tumor that crosses the midline and it has a butterfly kind of appearance. So I've drawn a rough butterfly kind of appearance for you, uh, but please look at the image from your notes. It is important, right? Uh, then next up we have is oligodendroma. In oligodendroma, we can see uh, this is a fried egg appearance in the histopathology and uh, we can see these blood vessels. These look like chicken wire blood vessels, right? Uh, so we'll remember oligodendroma with the help of an egg. We, we have an egg, egg ko todenge, then we make a fried egg out of it. Uh, so fried egg appearance, then uh, egg comes from chicken. So uh, we have chicken wire blood vessels and also the egg has a calcium layer uh, out, around it. The shell is made up of calcium. So we can see calcification in the MRI. So we'll remember oligodendroma with the help of an egg, right? Then next we have fried egg appearance differential diagnosis that is HOD, H for hairy cell leukemia, O for oligodendroma and D for desgerminoma. Uh, so HOD likes fried eggs, right? And then next is uh, brain calcification DD, we will remember it with the help of a mnemonic dot com and that is uh, C for craniopharyngioma, O for oligodendroma and M for meningioma. In all these three images you can appreciate uh, calcification in the MRI image. Uh, but uh, craniopharyngioma is very commonly asked uh, the supracellular calcification and on the gross we see motor oil appearance. Uh, this was a neat PG25 question. So moving forward, we have schwannoma. In schwannoma there are two areas. If there is a hypercellular area that is Antony A area and if the area is hypocellular that is Antony B region. Uh, then we have varuke bodies uh, when there are two uh, layer of cells uh, one line of cells and the other line of cells and in between you have pink pink area so that is the varuke body these are seen in schwannoma right then next up we have is lewy body lewy bodies are seen in parkinson's and they are made up of alpha synucleins so this is the body of lewy body and uh, we'll remember alpha synucleopathy is the trick is mlp and that is MSA, multiple systemic atrophy, L for Lewy body dementia and P for Parkinson's. So MLP, alpha synucleopathies, Lewy bodies would be seen. Uh, so this is the Lewy body which is seen in Parkinson's. And then next we have neurofibrillary tangles. These are seen in Alzheimer's and these are made up of hyperphosphorylated tau proteins. You will see a tail like appearance. So this is neurofibrillary tangles. T for tangle, T for tail like. So neurofibrillary tangles, right? Before moving to the next system, we will first study small round blue cell tumors. It is very important. We will remember it. There can be two tricks. In Hindi, we can remember uh, home mein man lagta hai. And in English, we can remember that man lives in a home, right? So, in Homer right rosette are seen in M and N. That is M for medulloblastoma and N for neuroblastoma. Or home man lagta hai, to M for medulloblastoma and N for neuroblastoma. Uh, then, in retinoblastoma, we see flexor winter, winter stainer rosette. We'll remember it with the help of trick wafer. That is a uh, winter stainer and W for winter stainer, F for flexor and R for retinoblastoma. So wafer is uh, retinoblastoma. Right. So this is the image of small round blue cell tumors. So the small round blue cells are arranged in the form of rosette like pattern. So this is a small round blue cell tumor. The DDs are neuroblastoma, medulloblastoma, retinoblastoma, Ewing sarcoma, Wilms tumor and rhabdomyosarcoma. Right. 
then moving to the next system we have respiratory system uh, so first images of adenocarcinoma of lung you can uh, see the pleomorphic cells which have high nc ratio they are very dark blue type of in color uh, we have a bronchoalveolar variant of uh, adenocarcinoma of lung that has a butterfly on pins appearance or the lipidic pattern it is important to remember then next is squamous cell carcinoma see adenocarcinoma occurs anywhere you will see this kind of image only pleomorphic glands uh, so you can expect uh, adenocarcinoma image similar everywhere right and then next is squamous cell carcinoma it is also same everywhere you will see keratin pearls and in high power we will see desmosomes right uh, then see this is uh, uh, keratin pearls uh, then next is small cell uh, carcinoma of lung it is a neuroendocrine tumor uh, then uh, we will see the histopathology of two important pneumoconiosis that is asbestosis you can see ferruginous bodies these are dumbbell shaped bodies so you can uh, see you can appreciate the dumbbell uh, so this is asbestosis in which we see ferruginous bodies uh, then next is silicosis you can see pink pink colored world collagen so this is the histopathology of silicosis so moving to the next system that is nephrology uh, so the first one is MPG and now may membrane proliferative glomerulonephritis. Uh, so there would be GBM splitting and you can see a tram track appearance, uh, one membrane and other membrane and there would be a tram track appearance in between. You can appreciate there are two membranes, you can see the membrane proliferation. Uh, the next one is RPG and rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis. You can uh, see crescents in that. So you, it is also called crescentic nephritis. So less than 50% of the glomerulus is sclerosed. Uh, so that is the image of uh, RPGN. Then next is membranous nephropathy. We can see the spike and dome appearance and also the blackish uh, stain. It is the silver stain in which we can appreciate it is very dark. So there are membrane thickening uh, at the places, right? Then next is uh, diabetic nephropathy. In diabetic nephropathy, we see nodular glomerulosclerosis that is known as Kimmelsteel Wilson lesion and that is the characteristic for diabetic nephropathy. So you can appreciate this uh, diabetic nephropathy image, right? Uh, then next in uh, nephrology we have malacoplakia. In malacoplakia we see uh, this purple is concentration that is Michaelis Gutman bodies. So these uh, this is the photo for malacoplakia important right. Then next system is GIT. In GIT the first image is of viral hepatitis. Uh, hepatitis B we see councilman bodies which are apoptotic bodies. So you can see this is the councilman body. Then next is alcoholic hepatitis. Uh, we see mallory dank bodies. These are wavy kind of bodies. Uh, so these are made up of intermediate filament cytokeratin 8 and 18 ck 8 and 18 will remember then next is uh, wilson's disease please see this image from your notes uh, it contains copper so uh, the stain used is rodan in stain n i n e 9 right uh, then next is a uh, celiac disease in celiac disease uh, on one side you can appreciate this is the normal uh, intestine where you can see the villus and the intestinal epithelium but on the other side the uh, there is villus atrophy the villi are atrophied so uh, this is the celiac disease then next is whipple's disease in which you can appreciate these foamy macrophages which are present in the lamina propria and you have to remember these are also past positive so this is the uh, hne for uh, whipple's disease then next is gist just is a biphasic tumor you can see the spindle and the epithelioid uh, cells so this is just gastrointestinal stromal tumor investigation of choices see. next image we can appreciate the signet cells the nucleus is shifted towards the periphery and uh, these are the signet cells and this is seen in diffuse type gastric carcinoma right moving forward to head and neck uh, so the first is thyroid you can see the papillary carcinoma of thyroid the nucleus is empty uh, so it is orphan anii nucleus also we can uh, appreciate that the nucleus has coffee, coffee bean shaped nucleus it has a coffee bean shape uh, so uh, also we can see samoma bodies right so this is all about papillary carcinoma of thyroid then next this is the follicular carcinoma of thyroid you can see uh, follicles type ke dikh hai, chote chote. so this is the follicular carcinoma of thyroid then next is medullary carcinoma of thyroid you see a uh, pink color deposition that is the amyloid deposition that is medullary carcinoma of thyroid so thyroid is done then next we have a salivary gland so the first one is pleomorphic adenoma uh, this is a triphasic tumor you can appreciate epithelial myoepithelial and stromal component in this it, is, it has a variable consistency and history of a slow growing tumor that lifts the ear lobule and it is painless so this is all about pleomorphic adenoma then next is adenocystic carcinoma it has a swiss cheese appearance this typical photo of swiss cheese appearance then it is painful because of perineural invasion right 
Then next we move forward to hematology. So the first one is AML M3 acute promyelocytic leukemia. You can see multiple your rod cells and they are in a crisscross pattern. So these are the faggot cells. And then next is the peripheral blood smear for ALL acute lymphoblastic leukemia. You can see the hand mirror cells in the peripheral smear. And then next is CML. You can see college girl or garden party appearance in the peripheral blood smear. Then next is CLL. In CLL we can appreciate the smudge cells on the peripheral blood smear. Uh, then important thing is that the first thing in the case of ALL, CLL and AML, the first thing is we do the blood smear and if you are asked the investigation of choice or next what is the important thing to do, the answer is flow cytometry. But in the case of CML, uh, first we do the blood smear and then if you are asked the in investigation of choice, it is FISH, right, fluorescent in situ hybridization. Next we move forward to Hodgkin's lymphoma. This is the owl eye appearance for RS cells. These are the large binucleate cells with eosinophilic macronuclei. Then next is popcorn cells which are seen in NLPHL, lymphocytic predominant Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, then next is lacunar cells which are seen in nodular sclerosis type of Hodgkin's lymphoma. So uh, please see the photo for uh, lacunar type of cell also. Uh, then next we have Burkitt's lymphoma. In Burkitt's lymphoma we have a starry sky appearance. Uh, these are the lymphocytes and the stars are made up by macrophages, right? Then next is hairy cell leukemia. You can see hair like projections in the cells. So this is the hairy cell leukemia. Uh, then moving forward to multiple myeloma. All these were peripheral blood smear but in multiple myeloma we have uh, bone marrow aspirate and you can appreciate the plasma cells. These are the, uh, these have eccentric nucleus and cartwheel uh, shaped chromatin, right? Uh, then you can also see Dutcher bodies. So moving to the next system that is the reproductive system. You can see serous cysted no carcinoma of ovary. You can appreciate the papillary structures and also we see the Samoma bodies. So the DD for Samoma bodies are, we will remember the trick PSM that is papillary carcinoma of thyroid, papillary renal cell cancer. As for serous cysted no carcinoma of ovary, M for we will remember M for meningioma and M for mesothelioma. So Samoma body's trick is PSM, right? Uh, then next image is of men, uh, then next image is of seminoma. Uh, you can see uh, sheets or lobules, and also there is fibrous septum. Uh, infiltrate of lymphocytes can also be seen. So this is the seminoma. Then the very 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 important for the exam is carcinoma cervix. We see coelocytes. Uh, you can appreciate these are the normal cells and these are the cells uh, which have a high NC ratio and they have a perinuclear halo and resinoid nucleus. Uh, so these are the coelocytes. Very important. Uh, then moving forward to bone, uh, you can see this is Ewing sarcoma, small round blue cell tumor and you can appreciate the rosette. Uh, then in osteosarcoma, we see lace-like pattern and you can see new bone formation. In giant cell uh, tumor or osteoclastoma, you can appreciate the giant cells very easy. Uh, then next is uh, in skin, we can see basal cell cancer. You can appreciate the palisading. The cells uh, are uh, moving away from the periphery. Uh, so you can see the palisading, right? Uh, then next is uh, malignant melanoma. You can see the melanin deposition. This is the HNE for uh, malignant melanoma. So we will remember some special stains. So the first is Congo red. It is used for amyloid. Uh, you can see uh, without polarized light, it will uh, look red. Then under polarized microscope, it will uh, give the apple green bifringence. Right? This is the silver stain. Uh, it is giving the black color. So this is the silver stain. Then next is Mason trichome. For trichome, we will remember tri for triple helix that is collagen, right? And then uh, we also have Mason Fontana. We will remember Hannah Montana. Montana we will remember that is uh, Mason Fontana is for melanin. So guys, this is the histopathology last minute revision for your exam. Hope you find this video helpful. And also uh, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Uh, because it keeps me going and I'll uh, put up uh, the PDF link in the description. You can download it from there. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.